Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Thrive It Up. It is that time for Thrive It Up with Chef Todd. We're excited to be here. I can tell you are too by your applause. Oh, yeah! That's great. That's great. Uh, we've got a special guest today, Lisa Warnick. You'll see her a little bit later. And uh, we've got Chef Todd in the house. So, with no further ado, let me, well, let me, what, introduce? That's it. Welcome and introduce <laughs> Chef Todd! Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. It's a little chill in the air. It's fall. Fall is in the air, and Thrive never comes out stronger than in fall, in my opinion, because we offers us some wonderful savory options of soups and those fall favorites. So I want to get started. Today we have a packed full menu for you, offering over 90% of our recipes include Thrive ingredients. So this is going to be a great day. But we have so much going on, I needed a helper today. And one of the members of our advisory board, who assists the company in making Thrive Foods and the Thrive Company so great, Lisa Warnick. Um, she always comes in the kitchen and she always has some suggestions for me and she's just a great friend of mine. Introducing Lisa Warnick, she's gonna come out and help us today. <laughs> You ready to cook some soups? Absolutely. It already smells good and we haven't even begun. Haven't even begun. I love it. That's the Thrive, that's the thrive smell know. right there. That's the smells. So, the fun thing about Thrive Foods, if you're not that familiar with it, is it's convenient, it's healthy, it's fast, it's so easy in the home with your family. And we believe in something called the home store. So all of this food is not only prepared, diced, cut, and ready to go for you, but it can be at your fingertips. Okay, so at least today we're going to take some of our home store, some of the foods that we get on our queue, some of the foods we buy from Thrive Foods, and we're going to make four soups that's kind of got a fall flavor to it. And in my opinion, there's nothing better than a wonderful home-cooked soup with some nice fresh bread. Absolutely. It's just comforting. Yes. Right? Absolutely. And so you're going to actually make one of our soups. She's, she's got a great chili recipe that she's going to knock your socks off with. So okay. first and foremost... We're going to start with our uh, Tuscan tomato soup. Now, usually I've offered some tomato soups in the past, and they've kind of been smooth and rich and creamy. This one's got a lot more savory flavor to it. There's the Thrive Sizzle right there. That's the Thrive Sizzle. Thank yeah. you very much. She, she's been watching the show. I love it. So we got the Thrive Sizzle going. We've got a little bit of garlic and a little bit of olive oil. And not a lot. Uh, this soup is really healthy. It's a broth-style soup. It's really the Thrive way. And it's just offering some really nice Thrive flavors from our vegetables. And I know, Lise... Why do you like let the garlic sit in that? Great question. The garlic, we want to perfume the pan and let the aromatics of the garlic kind of flavor and season that pan as well as the oil. Because then, yes, our products are dry, dry because of our shelf life. We, that's, that's the glorious part, right? Right. And when you go on vacation, you have mushrooms or onions in the fridge, they're probably going to go bad. Well... Our products, and in our home store, our products are always there, always convenient, always at your fingertips. And so even though they're dry, sometimes I approach it the same way. So I'm going to actually add my onions, even though they're dry. 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 Okay, right in there. Right okay. in there. Boom, I love it. See? Then I'm going to take my favorite no, no spoon. Reconstituting I'm going to take my favorite Holy spoon. Cow. And I'm just going to sweat this down. And you can actually see, see the onions and mushrooms, even though they're dry, they're actually taking some nutty caramelization on. Okay. Okay, and that's going to create some nice flavor, and that's the same approach I would as if, if this was an onion out of my garden, you know, that still had its moisture in it. I love that you can okay? just do it dry like that. You Once you have that, now one of the coolest yeah. things about cooking is the fried sizzle. Ah. Okay, Once so you, now you're going to reconstitute it. Yeah. Now, okay. basically. The Thrive Love is throw it in the pot and let it release its wonderful yes. nutrients and wonderful flavors. You guys smell that? Mm. Mm. That awesome. so good. So we have that nice roasty flavor now. You can see that liquid's nice and caramelized right. and really flavorful. Okay. And so we can go ahead and add the rest of our Thrive ingredients. We have Thrive Celery. We have Thrive Carrots. And you'll notice it's only like a fourth of a cup. Okay. Now this recipe, because it's only a fourth of a cup, 
it's not going to be that expensive. Okay? And a lot of times maybe, maybe our, our food would seem expensive, but remember it's freeze dried, so there's no moisture. Yeah, but if I went to the store, I would have to buy a whole whole pepper. Whole pepper. What do you do with the, the, and the other? I'm going to use a quarter of it, and the rest is going to probably go to waste. Yeah. Honestly. So that's the other advantage of of fried foods. We've already done the chopping, everything. So you only need to grab what you need for the recipe, put it in the pot. Absolutely. That's Love. great. Okay. So now we got everything rolling. We're on high. Look at these. Wait a minute. Sorry, I threw that away too fast. But look at that tomato. That's actually a tomato. And then when it reconstitutes, it just hits the water, instantly comes back to life. All the wonderful characteristics of a nice vine ripened tomato out of the garden is right there. Okay, so we're going to add one of our new seasoning lines. This is Thrive Italian Blend Seasoning. Okay, one of my, one of my faves. This is our Chef's Choice All Purpose Blend Seasoning. My favorite. My favorite. This is our Thrive Salt. This is a little Worcestershire sauce, just to give it a little bit of wait, 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 acid. Wait, say it again. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Okay. I think I've been saying it wrong my whole life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, we're going to add the rest of our water here. What if you told your children to hurry and go down to the home store or go to the pantry to the home store and measure out those ingredients for tonight's dinner? Okay, to, for example. Yeah. Now, when you get home from soccer practice, from running here and there, grocery store, all these things, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. You're already measured out. Now all you do is what I just did, and that took what? Three and a half minutes. Yeah, three and a half minutes. So this is the Tuscan tomato. It's going to need a few minutes to kind of come up and let all the Thrive flavors um, release and, and do their thing and let the party happen, okay? So now let's do another recipe. Okay. This recipe, very simple. I think we're all familiar with chicken noodle soup. But the cool thing about this is we're going to actually, one, make our own noodles. Really? And two, this is again all Thrive except for just a little garlic and butter, but everything else is all Thrive. Again. Okay, so tell, wait, 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 back up the train. Sorry. Homemade noodles? Homemade noodles. Are you scared? Scared to death. <laughs> okay. Well, guess what? It's not that easy, and Thrive It's not offers, that easy? I mean, it is that easy. Sorry. <laughs> it is very easy. Thrive actually offers the easy approach to the pasta okay. because our eggs are already there. Uh, just you need oil, the flour. I'm going to show you. We're all. You're just going to show us You just us need this little mixer. That's okay, it. Okay, I got bada one of bing, these. Bada bang, bada bang. Okay. Okay. So now we got our chicken noodle. Mm, can you smell that? We're just going to lightly caramelize that those uh, the garlic just a little bit, Chef and then Tom, go ahead. I have to ask you a question yes, about the garlic. Like, why don't we have garlic? It's a staple at our house, and we do not have freeze dried garlic. We don't have freeze dried garlic. Are we getting it? it it's. Definitely in the works. Definitely in the works. We need it so bad. Yep. Okay. Now, once we've seasoned the gar the, the chicken, similar to, as what we did with the vegetables here, yeah. go ahead and add your water. Right. That's going to take all those all those flavors off the bottom of the pan and create a nice little broth with it. I love our chicken. Okay. So add our add your you onion. You guys love the chicken. Oh yeah. I love the chicken. Celery. Chicken bouillon. Yeah. Thrive chicken bouillon. So that's thrive celery, thrive onions, thrive chicken. Um, garlic butter, once again, Thrive Italian Blend Seasoning. Yeah. Chef's Choice All Purpose Blend Seasoning. My favorite. A little bit of lemon juice. Mm. Oh, once again, could somebody get me a towel? I'm sweating. That was tough. And wait a minute, we don't even have a cutting board out. Isn't that convenient? That's the beauty of Thrive, right? Okay, so one, two soups already going. We'll stir them up and get them, get them up to a little bit of a simmer. A little bit more water in there. So the classic ingredients of our chicken noodle is the chicken, the celery, the onions, and some nice savory herbs. And once again, on our herbs, they're fresh herbs. Yeah. They've been freeze dried. They're not dehydrated. They really lend the, the our herbs lend themselves more to fresh than any of the dehydrated that you'll get in the grocery store. So. But don't you love that you don't have to chop them all up? Oh yeah. Don't no just chopping, so no washing, great. nothing. Just pop your pop your can and rock them. Love them. Okay. And then just a little bit of carrot. Missed that. Okay, so that's the chicken noodle. Now we're gonna go to one last one. Can I ask you a question? Yes, So if you put in things differently than you did, so say you didn't do the, the thing at the beginning or you just kind of threw them all in the pot, would it taste just as good? Pretty much. But you're right. a chef. I know you like to go like uh, step I got by step. Systems. You know, I just can't break the habit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but there's a lot of things with Thrive. But ultimately, Man, just pop it, it in. Just, yes. Because like, I know Holly over there, she really likes things. Fast, free, and flowing was her thing. Today. And I, I know. And so I just think Hollywood go boom, 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 boom. Is 
it still going to taste the same? I know. Yes. Okay. But, good. Holly, you're but, good. <laughs> but I, I would, I would just not be as happy. I know you're a chef. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it is, and I know that 45 seconds to saute the garlic is totally out of her. Totally out <laughs> Maybe of Maybe some days it is, right? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to move right here real quick. We're yeah. going to do our minestrone in this pot. So we've got our Tuscan tomato. We've got our chicken noodle, and now we're going to do a minestrone. And the minestrone is one of my favorite soups. It's brothy, but it has some meat in it. And this is kind of what we would call or originally everything, you know, basically in the fridge. And that's the cool thing about Thrive in the home store is once you you got your home store built up and you have you're thriving basically and you're living truly what our thriving life is, you have all these ingredients at your fingertips all the time. And now you become the chef. Your children become the chef. Your family, your husband, whatever, becomes the chef because all this food's prepped, ready to go. And the joy to me of cooking is not doing all the prep. It's actually cooking. Really? So it just Mine's eating. It, well, <laughs> you and me both. I love it. I love it. You and me I both. I want to eat it. Okay, so now we got the thrive sizzle again. Just a little bit of butter this time. We've used olive oil. We've used butter. There's different. There's different. Uh, um, flavorings you can use there. And then what we want to do on this one is actually take our meat, ground beef, right in there. This is Thrive ground beef, freeze dried, about 20 to 25 years shelf life. Whoa, you know what? That's cool. Chris eats this out of the can. Chris, they told me I that this it. morning. Chris hey, eats that right there's out not of a the better, can. There's not a better beef jerky. It's not going to get sick, right? No. No. Fully cooked product. Okay, so we now added the ground beef and the sausage, the garlic and the butter right in there and we're toasting those meats again to one perfume the meat and just kind of create a little bit of aroma and aromatics in the pot before we add any water to deglaze. So now we add a little bit of water in there. This word deglaze, what, what does that mean? Great question. Deglazing is like, it's one of the best culinary experiences ever because you, as a cook, you want to saute the garlic. You want to add the butter to flavor that pan, and then you add your liquid, and it takes Holds all that it? flavor off. Yep. Deglazing. Deglazing. Great question. Okay. okay, so once again, this is the, the Thrive Easy Approach, convenient at, at your own home. We just did a little bit of sauteing, and now we go ahead and add some wonderful Thrive ingredients. Thrive celery. Thrive freeze-dried onions. Thrive mushrooms. Whoop. Thrive Instant Red Beans. Love those. Giddy up. Okay. Thrive Red Bell Peppers. Love those. Thrive Broccoli. Oh, look how cute. Oh, very cute. Very cute. Very cute. It's very tiny. Mine is a lot larger than that. Three, I mean, not three, but green chilies, just to give it a little kick. Yeah. Some of our dehydrated carrots. So now we got our minestrone going. So I know you're not going to eat four soups for dinner, but still, if you were cooking from the grocery store, you wouldn't even have the first soup going yet. No. Not to bring Not that even. up. <laughs> okay, so now we got the minestrone going. Everything's good. We're gonna add a little bit of our beef bouillon. We already used the chicken bouillon. So many Thrive ingredients today. A little bit of Italian seasoning again. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, you ready to start cooking? Yeah. All right, now this chili, something else. She has created a sweet recipe, and so I'm very excited for her to show you our last recipe before we plate all this wonderful food up and show you really the Thrive Life um, is, is, is uh, Lisa's awesome, thick, hearty beef and bean chili. Mm -hmm. so all right. turn it up. All right, here we go. I need my little thing over here. I made this over the weekend for the family. Um, the boys typically love chili, and, and this was a divine chili. My problems with chili is that it's sometimes a little too watery, and I like mine, but Chef Todd gave me a really great secret for thickening up chili, so it's awesome. Okay, so you start with, of course, the butter and the garlic that hopefully someday will get freeze-dried because we do use a lot of that at our house. And you just kind of stir that in the bottom of the pan. And the other thing you're going to add is your freeze-dried Thrive sausage that everybody loves, loves, loves. That's the stuff my boys eat right out of the can is the sausage. And then your ground beef. 
And so what you're gonna do is, I just like to let that meat sit and get coated by the butter and the garlic. So again, she's approaching the pot like you would normal beef, because normally for chili I would brown my meat, right? She's doing the same thing, but it takes like a quarter of the time normally. And we're doing it just to get the aromatics, the aromas and everything. And I'm telling you, the smell already. Smells really, really good. All right. So once that's all your meat's kind of covered in that garlic and the butter, the next thing you're gonna do is, I think just throw in uh, the rest of the stuff. Um, yep. Fry a pot of love. Go on right to, now. Now, I want to put my water in first. What are you doing? Deglazing. Oh yeah, Woo! I love deglazing. It. There's no She's deglazing. All right. And if you want a thicker chili, you can go lighter on your water. But this is this is almost a perfect amount. Okay, so then you've got just your your meat floating in that pot, and you want to put in your onions. Those are those, dehydrated. Those were the de dehydrated. I used freeze dried, so either or, good good combo. The chilies, okay, gives it a nice pop. And there's another thing that gives it a nice pop, and that is the cholulu that you're going to add in. But you've got the red bell peppers that are awesome. Lava, lava. These, I borrowed these from Tiff and Dave. They saved me this weekend when I was like, oh, I need beans. I didn't have the instant red beans, but these are so awesome and so flavorful, and they, they make up so good. So you just put those in, and let's see. I want to put in my Chef Todd seasoning, which is my absolute favorite, and then this is chili powder. Yes, chili, chili powder, chili lot, powder another chili. kick. There's a lot of kicks to this. Cholula, another kick. See, um, Amber, you would love this. Total kick chili. Um, we've got tomato powder. Does everybody love the tomato powder? Love, right? And, and that was all we had before we got our sauces, kind of to thicken things up. Okay, remind me what this is. Cumin. 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 Cumin goes in there. Lime. Don't you love our lime chili stuff that we have for Thrive Express? Lime. Okay, say this word, Worcester. Worcester Shire. Shire. I think I forgot the Shire. Beef bouillon. Then you're like all chilled up here. Like this is your chili. Like no big deal. This is like, but again, I was like, this is so watery. But um, as soon as you put in the magic Espanol sauce, it thickens up. And I thought, Espanol sauce? That, that's gravy. I'm putting gravy in my chili but it makes it amazing. You will be so surprised. So. How long have we had the sauce? We've had them a little while, since oh, convention. Oh baby, so they're <laughs> rarely new. They are pretty it. new. But I just like to whisk and stir. Whisk and stir, whisk and stir, or pour and whisk, whatever you want to do. But it thickens it up. You got that down. Okay, should we make some pasta okay. for the chicken noodle? Okay, this is the scary part. Okay, let, let these simmer. I okay. think we're doing well on heat. Turn everything down just barely. Okay, now, just so you know, pasta is really not that hard. This, this is pasta. Okay, wait a How minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. All of a sudden you have dough in your hands. So, this is my challenge. Okay, let me show Did you. Did you make the dough? Let me show you from scratch. Okay. Yep, we're gonna make the dough. Okay. Thrive scrambled eggs, right into a mixer. Okay, that was a fourth a cup scrambled eggs, third a cup water. Okay. Okay. Olive oil. Okay. Okay. Peppercorn blend and Thrive salt. Our new seasoning line, our peppercorn yes. blend. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome. Add that right in there. Got it. Okay, that's going to season the pasta. Turn this baby on. Now this is a this is a small batch of pasta. Okay. And even that amount of soup isn't going to take it all. We're only going to. So you don't need a machine. That... You can do it by hand too. Okay. That, and that's what you're doing. Yeah, well, if you don't have a mixing bowl, you can actually whip this in a bowl and knead it by hand. It's not that hard. Okay. But uh, definitely a mixer helps. Okay. Okay? So now I've added the flour to the eggs, oil, salt, peppercorn blend. Yeah. Very slowly, just a little bit at a time. Okay? Okay, so that's how you make your noodles. Yeah, that was, that was hard. That was that, extremely that was hard. Extremely okay? Easy. Now it's not quite done because okay, we yeah. could use the dough hook. 
and, and finish it. But I just usually, once it gets to this point, I usually bring it down to the table and finish kneading it by hand. Okay? So, just to finish this up, what we want to do is just bring all this together. And you basically want to add enough flour until it stops accepting it. Okay? Okay. So really, you just keep pushing it in. And it doesn't make it tough? No, you want it to be definitely elastic. You definitely want the gluten and the protein to develop in pasta. That's what gives you that hearty, you know, you don't want it to just fall apart to oblivion. Whereas right. a biscuit, you want it to be light, fluffy. Now, we have this attachment that actually goes right on here that's going to do your pasta sheets. Okay. okay. But I know a lot of people may not have that. Yeah. So let me just show you how easy it is to roll it out. Just take your pasta dough, take a rolling pin. Okay, let the kids get involved in this, okay? okay. Because this is the Thrive Way. Whole family, here Whole we go. Whole family. Playing together, feeding, or cooking together. Family that cooks together stays Okay, together. see that? Yes. Nice thin pasta. Oh, wow. That looks like Isn't that sweet? Yeah. And it's that like, was hard, right? No, that wasn't too hard. Too hard? Okay, now, I forgot my knife, that's okay. Now what you're going to want to do, how do you shape a noodle? So Long just take strips. the pasta dough like so, roll it up. Okay, this is the kind of cigars I like. <laughs> then just take a little knife, try not to use a plastic one. And then just cut your long. noodles. This knife is not doing this justice. So just cut your noodles down. See how easy? I didn't need expensive attachments to the KitchenAid or anything like that. Just roll it up. And you're going to throw these little things Whoops. in the soup? Now just unfold them. Oh, unfold them. Oh, look throw at them there. in the soup. Noodles. I bet that is going to be the this best. The thrive noodles. Woo! Dang soup you ever did have. Mhm. Mm yeah. Keep going. Boom. 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 Okay. And then you want to add the noodles your, I think to the kid, liquid right now. Do your kids help you with this part? Oh yeah. I could see kids loving this, like worms and. Mm -hmm. Yep. They can make all kinds of shapes. They can throw the leftover dough at the boss. Absolutely. A little bit. Okay. So everybody tracking? That's easy, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we have our homemade noodles in to our chicken noodle soup. We also added um, our macaroni to the minestrone soup. So you actually now have thrived macaroni noodles into the minestrone soup, okay? That's so right. that's working good. The Tuscan tomato soup, we need to finish. How we finish that is actually take this. This tomato is our soup. tomato sauce. And this sauce. Oh, it's awesome. You should never have to buy sauce or make your right, own sauce again right. because it's right here. Just to add water, call it good. Just sprinkle your tomato sauce right in the tomato soup. This is the Tuscan tomato soup. Just sprinkle it in. Bada bing, bada bang. So yes, these are our. This is our sauce line. But you can see how convenient it's being. Yeah. As your base and your thickener and your enricher to that. any of your soups. Now look at that tomato soup. Doesn't that look great now? It looks awesome. Oh baby. Okay. Now the same thing goes for the minestrone. We're going to finish it. We're going to take spinach, thrive spinach. And I usually don't add it in the beginning because I want to keep it vibrant and fresh, just like you would right. you know, fresh spinach. So I'll add the spinach in, add some thrive green onions that we just launched last year. So do you add the more delicate things at the end in some of the soup so it doesn't get... Yep, yep. just like the French way is to add butter, butter, butter. You, I, hey, everybody, I think I've been pretty good with butter today. I think I've only used four tablespoons. Yeah. It's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. You love that. Okay, so now, again, tomato sauce into the minestrone. There's no bacon, though. You love bacon. Yep, there is no bacon, I but I got fried sausage. That's my second favorite. <laughs> okay, so the tomato soup's gone. The uh, minestrone's now done. Basically, we just need to thicken that up. Now, watch this one, too. So, normally, here's your chicken noodle. Yeah. Look at the noodles already starting to get soft, tender, delicate, but beautiful. It's kind of watery. Yeah. Yeah. But watch this. Now, okay. we're going to have it's some magic. creamy. Flavor is this added right to it. This is the velute? this is the velute, Ooh. and so this is the chicken type gravy or chicken base, and it's perfect to add for your chicken noodle. Instantly Look now you that. have like a creamier chicken noodle soup, oh, just that. like that. Bada bing, bada bang. Now this chili, oh yeah, baby. Look Isn't how far thick and hearty your chili turned out. I know. You I made know. that. I made that yep. yesterday. I was so proud of myself. Okay, now. To finish the Tuscan tomato, everything's pretty much done. Yep. Okay, we're gonna just shut everything down, just let it relax for a minute. What you got there? This is pesto that we've made with our basil, our new freeze dried basil. Basil, pine nuts, Parmesan cheese, olive oil, 
little bit of Thrive Salt, a little bit of Thrive Peppercorn blend, and bada bing, you have a really nice pesto. Okay, no more buying nasty pesto from the grocery store. Right. Make your own fresh pesto using Thrive product. Okay, now we take our Tuscan tomato soup. Instead of adding butter, like I normally would want to, yes. I'm starting to twitch because I don't have it. I'm actually <laughs> gonna take this pesto, and I'm gonna turn the Tuscan right up on this tomato. Now it's gonna really be Italian style. Tus Tuscany is actually a province. It's, so this is in the form of Tuscany. Okay, so now we, 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 we're taking it. See, you just whip that in. And, now this has olive time. oil, so it's gonna give it some richness. Okay, so now all four of our soups are ready. Look how hearty and thick our, 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 uh, awesome. our chili awesome. is. Look at our minestrone soup. Oh, man. Okay, the Tuscan tomato is good. So everything's ready. So now we're ready to plate up. Okay, you're okay. going to do your chili, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now we've got some bowls. Now it's time for the family meal, right? This is, uh -oh, is, this is our family today. This is where we really have the fun and really enjoy the Thrive Life. It's, it's right towards the end of, of your 15, 20 minute meal. We've done four in 20 minutes. But right at the end of your 15 to 20 minute meal, you're going to be able to really sit down and not have all that fuss, not have all that hard work. You didn't have to dice cut anything. It's all right there, super convenient. And everything came from the home store. So let's, let's get her done. Okay. Here's yours. Here's mine. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, look at that homemade chicken noodle. I know. Right? I made a pretty good mess of my right. plate. Okay, dish that baby up, minestrone. Okay, and last but not least. Put a little chili. Tomato. Is this some cheese yeah, on that's top a, of that? Yeah, and that's a little spicy sour cream. That would go good in there. That's probably not as pretty as you would make it, but. It will do, right? Oh, it's awesome. It's perfect. It's I have awesome. a question for you, Chef. Like, okay. This is awesome, but doesn't it cost a lot of money to make everything out of freeze dry? You know, the cost is always a concern. You know, my wife and I, we're, we're really watching our, our wallets because we, we know Christmas is coming and things like that. And, you know, who, we don't want to spend money on, on our gas tanks and we don't want to spend money on the table. Right. So you know what I've found with Thrive? Let me just finish a couple of these garnishes real quick. On the minestrone, I usually just stick a nice chunk of nice crusty bread in there. On the uh, tomato, Tuscan tomato, I usually just shave a nice couple pieces of Parmesan cheese. That you just have laying yeah, around in the refrigerator. And of course, <laughs> I like to d dust the, the Tuscan with just a touch of oregano right out of the can, easy money. And then last but certainly not least, just a little bit of chive right on the chicken noodle soup. Mm. Also, we have a little chili oil mm. on the chicken noodle soup. We also have a little balsamic reduction. If you want to know the cost of each one of these per serving, your hearty beef and bean chili is 82 cents per serving. Woo! Per serving. One cup serving for your family, your children, 82 cents. Now that's some serious savings. That's some serious savings. Okay. The, the uh, minestrone soup with the noodles, the beef, you have beef and sausage in there, in which you, you'd think, oh my gosh, that's going to be expensive. Per serving, $1.93. Per serving. <laughs> Tuscan tomato soup, $1.32 per serving. Nice. Oh, baby. And last but not least, least, our creamy chicken noodle soup with our nice big hearty chunks of chicken, homemade noodles, only 93 cents a serving. Okay. The great thing is, please, look how much the recipe made. I know. These recipes with 11 to 12 servings in each right. one. Are, are yielding high yields, so you can have plenty for the family, great for leftovers, great for easy, quick snack meals. And the, the, the number one thing is look at the variety Thrive offers you. These are over 90% Thrive products in each one of these soups, over 90%. That. Yeah. They all came from the home store. Right. Everybody. I love the savings. Thanks for Lisa coming on. Love having you, you're <laughs> awesome. She's a great friend of mine. And, and you know what? Thrive Life is truly what we just showed you. 
food at your fingertips, super convenient, nutritional, and healthy. This is the Thrive Kitchen. Thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> oh,